Okay, it is done with the update. Hit close on that. I'm going to select objects to scan in a minute, but I went ahead and opened up the file manager over here. And because uh, I got to thinking, you know, I don't really want to scan my. Uh, I have antivirus programs on my uh, Sardu USB stick, and so I don't want it delete, scanning those and deleting the virus definitions off of there. I just want to take it out. So all it shows is Sardu and U3 system uh, that it sees automatically. And they're both named Sardu. So I don't want to unmount that one. But the U3 is the second partition on my USB stick. So most of the time you can unmount that and then unmount both of them. So and sometimes it says eject. Now go back into file manager again. There's win. D and E. Okay, that's my Windows system. get back here make sure that's what it looks like yeah that's the Windows system e boot rescue huh that looks like it would be my that's one of these uh... okay so that's gonna be the I think that's the USB stick. Let's go to Sardu. Oops, can't mount Sardu. It says it's busy. Okay, so it's calling. It says Win. It says Win up there instead of the name of. You know, I don't know why it put it in Win, but uh, Rescue Backup. Mm hmm. boot grub yeah that's got me thrown off a little bit that may just be a live a live uh, I'm thinking it probably is a live uh, live disk as they call it and can you go to the one that says Sardu which is may, may very well be the one on the uh, SD card I just don't want to unmount the SD card so I'm gonna it's not the end of the world to uh, just unplug a USB stick, but it can cause problems. If it's in the middle of writing to it, you know, you can uh, can corrupt files. So, But with the read-only file system, usually you know, the biggest problem you usually have is like what I just had, where it doesn't want to uh, recognize it until it, gets re until it gets tired of being mad at you, <laughs> like it just did. I mean, what did I do? I, I swapped... USB connectors, you know, I, I, and I'm pretty sure, and at the beginning, I had that SD card in the bottom one, uh, several times, but for some reason, I went off for 10 minutes, thought about it, and I decided to swap them, and all of a sudden, they both show up, so, uh, and I had, to, I had, uh, I guess I never did boot them up with, boot it up with them both in there before, but why would that make them both show up? that's a mystery so it's a crazy BIOS and I've had that trouble with my uh, Lenovo Wi-Fi but it has a lot more de uh, settings in the BIOS and you can tell it to recognize it and you're fine and in my laptop you can do that my 1525 laptop and I think that's Dell 600 laptop too that's the other laptop okay so that's a real aggravating thing to happen when you're trying to do something simple and it's got nothing to do with the operating system Linux or Windows or Sardu or Yummy it's just to do with the BIOS of the machine so I'm gonna go in here and now I know I'm not gonna be scanning any uh, virus definitions on my USB stick boot sectors all disks boot disk root folder Windows system folder using system temporary root kits has an odd little way of doing it and it says D let me get the file manager again when yeah it is D so it mounted it as D so that's my C drive that's what I've, I've you know you'll have to pay attention these bar uh, these uh, 
Some of them will not call them a Windows letter like that, which is less confusing to me actually because I'm used to SDA, SDA1, to you know SDB. That's what I'm used to from running Linux all these years. So I already have my uh, my uh, definitions updated, but I want to see. Oh, it's not going to let you click to select files and folders. Huh. That's weird. I mean, I already, I probably had already done that, but that's a really strange. It went away too. Whenever I, anyway, I'm selecting all the different options. Let me get up there. Boot sectors, boot disk root folder, Windows system folder, user. Basically, I just want the whole thing scanned, and I definitely want to scan for rootkits, of course. But it doesn't have any other options like. Uh, like most virus scanners have, like what, uh, how, how uh, you know, like pups and picture on potentially unwanted programs and all that stuff. And uh, anyway, I can't even think of all the different things. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it like that because that's all it's going to allow me to select. Yeah. Okay. Start scanning. And we'll see what it comes up with. Usually takes three hours or more, or three and a half hours to scan this system with most of these I've been using. Um, so we'll have to come back much later. Go off and do my regular stuff. And uh, we'll see what this one comes up with. I might do VBA. Well, if this one says it's clean, well, I may do VBA rescue anyway. But uh, um, at this point, I, if I can just get it cleaned up, even if Windows is broken, and I, even if I couldn't fix it like I couldn't on the on the Lenovo, or I just it got to be too much trouble. I mean, I might be able to fix it, but reformatting is only a third, only an hour or two. You can spend uh, two, three days fixing a broken system of any type. So, uh, file by file, you know. So, um, yeah, if I can get it cleaned up, that way, uh, my, you know, I can have my my uh, all my video files off my phones on there. Uh, still, keep them backed up and. Uh, That'll be good enough for now. I like. I've been using it a lot. You know, I boot it up and use it with VNC Remote Desktop. Right through my Linux system to do whatever I want to do with my phones. Because there's that Mo my phone explorer app I have on there that I can scroll my phones and see them. I can read the screens. These tiny little foreign screens are really hard to read. I can just read the screens through. Uh, basically, it's VNC for phones for Android. So. Uh, didn't, uh, <coughs> It's a Windows app that's doing VNC is what it is. So uh, it was the only one I found that would really work for me. So because uh, the others are going, they would go through their servers instead of straight on your local network, and it would lag so bad you couldn't use, couldn't do it, couldn't use it. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll come back later when this is done.